okay? Can you take me into it? Yes, I will. All right, let's go. Where am I now? This is three wing. This is three wing? Yes, this is three wing. Suburban area. A suburban area? This is like a this Manhattan like a, in the Bronx. Okay. All right. And here, you know, guy just came in this particular wing right here. This is, uh, you know, one of the cells that you can see this particular guy right here. He's an artist as well. He's one of my members of the Lifers Group as well. He's a member here. He's a member of the Lifers Group. And as you can see here, all the guys out in the yard pumping up, pumping iron out here. This is the yard oh, right yeah, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Goes all the way around. I can, like, just about touch both walls. I mean, I'm yeah, a small I, person. Yeah, this I, is not a big space. Much, I pretty much can touch both walls in here. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the things that we do. Uh, as You'll get a tour of it, which is four wing. Okay. You'll see which is even a smaller cell. And uh, we kind of use these cells in our program, in our format with the Juvenile Awareness Program to show the kids if four guys were to roll in one of these little cells on you, show you how hopeless and helpless oh, you are. Oh, you've got no place to go. You know, you, you have no, no place, place to, to run. Go. You're trapped. That's it. And from here, we'll go over there, and I'll let you see, and you'll see even a smaller cell, much smaller cell. Mm -hmm. So we can, you know, we can kind of like walk, do anything you want to yeah. do. Okay. The Lifers Group has sold over 50,000 records, released a book and video, and caught Hollywood's eye. But their members have committed the same kinds of violent crimes as other inmates at Rahway. So despite their fame, each member of the group is as anonymous as their number. 66064 Maxwell Melvins, and I'm doing life. I used to have a name, but now I got a number. I used to put something six feet under. Now I'm in jail, no longer a rebel. Can't tell me damn thing about the ghetto. I've been there. And Maxwell, you started, and I want to hear from other people. I feel, well, you have several groups out there. Again, this project, this uh, EP wasn't done with intentions of dissing rappers out there or anything. It was done with the means about awareness. But you do have groups out there like NWA, you know. Uh, you have uh, several other artists out there, and, uh, you know, they're telling kids about putting a nine in somebody, but they're not telling those kids about the consequences that you're going to end up, you're spending the rest of your life in prison or you're going to end up dead. You know what I'm saying? I understand that's, that's their means and in, in, in survival out there, what they do in the streets of Compton. And, you know, but you have some kids who aren't mature enough to separate what's bull and what's not. You know, so I think they should as well, you know, stay away from the subject of prison. You know, they can speak like public enemy can speak about blackness real well and uh, nobody does it best. W.A. can speak about the streets of Compton, nobody does it best. But what the lifers group do better that no one else can do is speak about the everyday reality.